Tex is without a doubt, the best FIFA player in the world. However, whilst Tex remains the best in the world, one young FIFA player by the name of Anders Vejergong may be set to usurp his throne over the next few years. Anders Vejergong isn't your typical pro FIFA player. For starters, he's 15, which makes him too young to compete in live EA-sponsored tournaments, but despite his age restriction, he's been able to take the FIFA scene by storm in FIFA 21. The 15-year-old Wonderkin has made a name for himself across the FIFA scene after notching a mind-boggling 535 wins in a row in the weekend league. That includes wins over pro players such as Tom Stokes, who won a FIFA Global Series tournament in FIFA 19 and is regarded as one of the best FIFA players in the UK. He's also slapped FIFA E World Cup winner, Mo Alba multiple times in various online competitions. But how does Anders Vejergong make seasoned pros look like gold 3 players when he faces them? It has to do with his unique approach to defending, ball retention and attacking. Let me explain. Defending. Anders Vejergong plays with a 4-man backline, and while his custom tactics are not explicitly known, he most likely plays with defensive tactics within the range of 6 depth and 4 width. You see, unlike most players, Anders Vejergong takes a very aggressive approach to defending. He constantly applies a manual press, which he's able to achieve by constantly switching his players using the right analog stick. Anders Vejergong also does something that's pretty unique. He sets defensive traps which pretty much means that he's able to position his players in areas where they are likely to steal a tackle, while simultaneously pressuring his opponents to go to those areas. Midfield the most glaring thing about Anders Vejergong's midfield play is the fact that, he has attained mastery of the game's basic mechanics. He doesn't overcomplicate things with advanced skill moves. He simply passes the ball around with varying tempos, and utilizes the left analog stick to meander across the pitch. It is worth noting, however, that basic within this context should not be mistaken for easy. Anders Vejergong has attained a level whereby he's able to consistently use the game's basics to create hard-to-read gameplay patterns, so while he may be performing basic gameplay movements, his style of play is not easy to replicate by any means. Attacking Anders Vejergong is fond of using step-overs and ball rolls to confuse players, especially when he's within the range of their 18-yard area. He's a multi-dimensional attacking player as he's able to utilize all areas of the pitch to launch his attacks, especially the flanks, as he's able to stretch his opponent's backline and force them into overcommitting, which, in turn, gives him ample space to exploit. Like his midfield play, Anders Vejergong's attacking play also mostly centered around the game's most basic mechanics. He triggers runs up front, makes quick passes, and likes to cross the ball when an opportunity to do so presents itself. If there's one thing you should try to adopt from his style of play, it should be the fact that he doesn't overcomplicate his gameplay. You don't need to use 20 skill moves in a match to win, all you need is a coordinated series of attacks that allow you to exploit the gaps in your opponent's defense. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell 